Welcome back. Let's do some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. I think I discovered from last session that Central Foul Rook is one of the more fun openings I play. Maybe I just need to focus on having fun. Hang on, click the rook, move it over. There we go. It's not that hard. <laughs> so opponent is resisting heavily on this point. Um hmm. Alright, let the games begin. Games have begun. Generally pushing the center pawn up so quickly has consequences. And I'm needing to be taught every single time what these consequences are, because I keep forgetting. Um... Arguably, yeah, they gained a pawn here. Um, I'm not so sure it's this is cut and dry. So they gained a pawn. I get to attack this way. And yeah, they get to use their pieces to defend against my attack. Maybe I'm just... I don't know, does this indicate like I'm tilted or something? What adjective do we use to describe this situation? I gave them a horse, and um, they're threatening to invade. But also, I still have a good attack here, I thought. Uh, I think crazy. Crazy's the word to describe this. Uh, that's a good word. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, our opponent just develops sensibly. And I continue developing sensibly. So this is kind of like... In chess we have gambits. Um, here I forced... Or I allowed a bishop exchange that apparently is not to my profit. And now we're getting to fight out the details of it. Um, uh, I don't necessarily want to move the rook up here, do I? I mean, it'd be cool to take this, but I know they're going to retreat. On the other hand, my bishop that's on the board would be better in my hand than on the board at this time. So if they go back and attack both of these, my rook drops all the way back, or drops back to the second row. Either way, I've got a decent position. But yeah, my attacking style has not asserted any tangible advantage. Um, okay, yeah, they're building a reasonable castle, too. I have a pawn in hand, and I am afraid to use it. Oh, this opens as another hole, doesn't it? I'm not very good at keeping track of these bishop drops. I'm like, there's no reason I should be this bad at figuring out where my opponent drops the bishop. So bishop takes, silver takes, bishop here, bishop there. Maybe I survive it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, they're threat. No, that's not a threat. It looks like a threat, but it's, it's at the moment it's not one. Um, 
figuring out how to make progress is challenging. Like, exchanging the rook is one thing. <laughs> But yeah, patience is just something that's not coming to me today. All right, the horse threatens to retreat and increase its value, so we're going to remove it. Um, but also get a pawn. But I'm hanging everything. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm playing natural moves. But, um, yeah. Some degree of focus or effort greater than what I'm exerting is required to play the game well. And Nanafun. accordingly, I'm not playing the game as well as other folks could play it. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'll just keep trying to move toward the king. Um... King's what matters, not all those little pieces. So this should help a little bit. Not much. Um, man, retreating is painful here, but I don't have much of a choice. This knight surrounds their own king. This is a mistake. And, oh yeah, they did gain the knight and the lance, but the knight's been dropped somewhere where it cannot advance. And this lance, I'm not sure what it does. Okay... Um, that's bizarre. This bishop is so far on the wrong end of the board that I'm just going to let it run. I'm not even going to try to surround it to win a gold, or to exchange it for one of my gold generals. I'm just going to let it go off into Never Never Land and forget about it while I go attack their king. I think they expected me to drop a gold instead of moving mine. And maybe that would make more sense, but... Yeah, the, this bishop does not have value. Um... It's funny I answer that in similar fashion, but I'm, like, surrounding this bishop. I'll exchange. <laughs> Oops. Well, I stopped paying attention. Alright, that was an overconfident play on my part. Extremely overconfident. It might be a good play. The chances are not good. Uh, they could have just taken this. Oh, that's... If we have time for three games today... This is game one. I'm going to try to wake up a bit more. Because I'd like to play better moves. 
Um, okay. I don't know what we're doing. They're surrounding my rook. That's what's going on. Um, Gofun. I mean, it's clever. It's a good trap. I'll just let my rook out. Mm -hmm. So, in the event that they do take the silver, the silver's actually served some meaningful purpose. It saved the rook. Now they might drop the silver to trap the rook. No, they don't. Alright, now my rook becomes a monster. An unstoppable dragon. Quite literally. <laughs> hmm. We'll keep both horses in the pen. <laughs> Let this lance go join them, I guess. Um. My point is I don't want these two horses running all over the board. I'd rather they just stay put and do nothing. Bishop drop is the threat. My opponent spotted the threat. I almost did something silly. Um... Hmm. Three minutes. Check. Your move. I have a bishop threatening to drop. What do you suppose is going to happen next?
2分。Okay. They need to interpose on this square. No matter what the cost is, they need to block this. It's going to be a heavy cost. But yeah. Um. The reason they need to block is because now they can't block anymore. If I were more careful, I would have read out all the counter attacking variations. Thanks for the game. But I was in time pressure and not reading correctly, so let's just keep going. One down, two to go. Try to play more accurate moves. Let's see how we do with this. Good luck. It's true that last game, um, an early escape of my king did save quite a few moves. Um, I hear this is playable. But I start to get nervous the deeper we go into this line. Rook fourth file is appropriate here. And many players do play it. There might be other moves. I'm not fully aware. Um, so. What I like to do is push this pawn in exchange here. And things get crazy in a hurry. Oh. Alright. No need to go play any of that. We could play a more sensible game today. Our opponent prevents bishop 5-5. Five five. Um, slightly disappointed that they prevent that. Because my favorite shots involve putting the bishop on that square. Alright, no need to defend this prematurely, but we should be prepared to defend it when appropriate. Um, All right, and complete this castle. The bishop moves already. Okay. Where is this? Oh, they're planning to put the rook here. That's what they're up to. Do your worst. Okay, they defend the center pawn, and I harden my castle. Oh, this isn't just defending the center pawn. This is something. This is them claiming the 5-5 five five square. That's how their favorite opening goes. Mm-hmm. Um, hang on. You're gonna stop at some point, or I'm gonna take your pieces. Okay, so... Now we work on shifting this... Uh, the focal point toward the king. Hmm. Maybe I needed to anticipate this one move earlier. Um. I thought I was fine. Well, let's find out. I'll sidestep a silver drop fork. Very aggressive. 
Maybe my knight should have been out to protect against that before it happened. Um, Nanafun. Hmm. Okay, so today is the day where we sacrifice everything, is that right? There are still pieces on the board. Um... So I'm trying to slow their attack. They're attacking from the side of the board where their cat king is sitting. So... Um, generally, that's a recipe for disaster. Not sure how they're planning to avert disaster this time. Oh, I let them in. But I did get a silver general in hand, so maybe it's worth it. You've got pawns, I've got pawns. We've all got pawns. The question is, who knows how to use their pawns, and to what effect? Hmm. Gofun. I think the answer is you know how to use the pawns. And to good effect. So I'm threatening one, two, three to hit the king. Okay. The Rook and Tokian support each other. All right. Tactics abound. Um. Hmm. Oops, <laughs> that's a double click right there. Uh, it's not like I was going to take the knight anyway, but yeah. Darned mouse has a mind of its own sometimes. Um...
it this time clicking on the left side of the square, just in case my mouse double clicks. Nifun. Protect my king's head. Oops, I was going to drop the rook here. That would lose the rook. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> An early escape of the king is worth eight moves. Where the hell is my king going to escape to? I need to work on edge file attacks. I can't do every attack from the side or diagonally. Um. Thanks for the game. 
All right, two games down, one to go. Good luck. So, yeah, go figure. Like, when I play Central File Rook and do all kinds of things that should never work, um, that works out. Um, but when I play a legitimate opening and don't get lucky, um, then it's a difficult game. And I'm just ill-equipped to handle typical... Okay. If you're bringing the rook up, you're not also bringing the bishop up. We're not going to see the duck today. Nor its cousins. We're just going to play a nice, normal game. Um... There. That's a safe square for the rook, right? Maybe. What am I supposed to be doing when they do this? Or just in general? Um. Like, this isn't an attack. This isn't a defense. At least, maybe it is, I just don't know it. But I think this is where I'm supposed to attack next. Um, I don't know how to do it. What's our next proverb? Also welcome. Our next proverb. King and Rook are weak at the ears. Wait a minute. Oh, this is their attack. Hey, we found the attack, guys. This is what they were trying to strike at. Um, so I guess this ascending gold does well to counter a rook or opposing rook. But I've changed from opposing rook or something similar to this. And... I don't know, they call this crossing rook or something? Um, anyway, I'm just bewildered by what's happening here. Uh, if I push, knight takes. If I drop a pawn, I win the knight. Gold takes, if I drop the pawn, the gold moves I take, they take my gold. Or they take my bishop, rather. Um, so I'm trying to find some way to use my bishop safely. Um, but you can't have everything in this world. Knight up. Well, knight up's not terrible. It blocks the bishop for one turn. No, it is terrible, because it lets their bishop in. Um, screw it. Let's attack the king. This is the weak point. We'll just keep hitting it. Um, Okay, you can promote the rook. Fine. I shouldn't have dropped a knight here. Dropping the knight was stupid. 
I should have moved my knight here. Nanafun. Perhaps there's some subtle point to the knight drop, but it's too subtle for me. I support the head of my gold general <laughs> and walk directly into a fork. Um, maybe I wanted a knight. Maybe I wanted a knight. So my plan is to remove the gold, get my knight over here with the token supporting it, or vice versa, and checkmate this damn king. Um, I mean, arguably, my rook could move around. Okay, maybe the rook moving is the fastest path in. Maybe. Um. Gofun. Now, note to self, be careful not to drop too many pieces here. Okay, they do have a fork that wins my token. Um, I think I just accept it. Let's say I can't stop the fork. Okay. Man. This is confusing. So my king is more vulnerable than I thought. And moving my rook away, this was the real danger. Dropping the knight would have been even more dangerous. Yeah, I completely underestimated their attack. Um...
What? Oh. Okay. That doesn't help their attack. Unless there's something crucial I've overlooked. This actually slows down their attack. If they take this, then I can drop a pawn. Mm -hmm. You are going to take my pawn, right? Okay. Just so we're clear. And I'm going to defend my king. Now that that's figured out, um, we'll go back to playing shogi. Sampun. So I've got a large attack, and my dragon's defending this pawn while supporting this attack. They're probably going to try to distract my dragon, but I think it's more important that I hold on to this than I go for the king. Oh. That's another way to try to distract me. Sure. Um... 2 hours 30 minutes. Let's just keep going. Hmm. Two. Here we go.
1分So my lance is going to go here. Okay, you can have my dragon. I don't even care. That's what makes you happy. You can have it. Oh, that can take this. Oops. Well, whatever. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I hung that accidentally. Oh my goodness.
時間切れ。It's not made anyway. Thanks for game. I should take the gold.、Uh, that was exciting. So, I don't really care who won the game, but it was an exciting game. Yeah, it would have been cool to win that, but that's fine. It's just how the clock operates on this website and how my time management versus risk management works in general here. So, here, we're playing to have fun, we're playing to entertain, we're playing to learn. We're not playing to win. We're trying, but like all these other things are also pretty important. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.